Good day, H Bar community. How is everybody doing today? Uh, so yeah, today is definitely an interesting day. Talking about Bitcoin ETF news and uh, a certain article that was published is uh, basically bringing the whole market to a little bit of a pullback, uh, crypto crash, if you will. Um, but in this video, we're going to talk about H Bar. Is it the right time to buy H Bar? Well, let's get into that in this video. Before we do so, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And let's get into it. I cover many different altcoins every single day, and HBAR is one that I am continuing to just love to cover. All right, so we can see here the HBAR uh, price has dipped down along with the rest of the overall cryptocurrency market. It has nothing to do really with HBAR. Nothing has really changed fundamental-wise. It is just following the market trend right now, sitting at just about 8.7 uh, cents. Um, we are experiencing uh, quite a dip here, dipping, wicking down all the way to just under eight cents, um, but it has bounced back up nicely. So we were just at, we were at the level here that we were at earlier, um, or like at the end of 2023. I mean, it's nothing really to be concerned about in my opinion. Um, you know, things are just, you know, taking a bit of a breather. So HBAR's price surges by 6% is 10 cents in sight. Well, with most of the top movers in, in recent months, like AVAX and Sol go, are going through now a cool-off phase, investors are looking beyond the, ter the top large-cap cryptos for tokens with massive uh, upsides. HBAR has emerged as one of these candidates with the greatest potential, and after breaching the, uh, the 10 cent resistance this week, it is primed for more gains in the short term. Uh, however, over the last week, the token has been one of the better performers. And in that time, it has uh, set an interweekly high of $0.10, cents, which is a level that HBAR has not seen in over a year. The rise has been supported by increasing interest from investors in HBAR and the trading volume once used to average $50 million mid last year. But over the past month, it has been consistently hitting $100 million. So, Excuse me. So in the past day, over $171 million worth of this token has changed hands which is a 14% rise from January the 1st. Technical indicators are supporting bullish thesis. Uh, since April, Hedera has recorded a double bottom breakout, proving uh, the strength of its support around the $0.04 cent mark. Um, however, the uh, $0.10 cents has been broken free of the trading pattern for the first time since March and is on the path to a new local high. Um, we are experiencing, obviously, a bit of a dip now today. Um, however... Uh, Hedera is one of the many solutions that have sprang up to target this disgrunt disgruntled Ethereum users who were dissatisfied in speed, backlog, and inability, inability to scale. Although the migration of proof of stake uh, has remedied a lot of this, we are still experiencing you know, a, a backlog and high gas fees with Ethereum. And that is noted in our bull, you know, in this bit of a bull run that we had. Um, I was doing a few transactions and Ethereum gas fees were over, you know, a hundred bucks. And it's like, that's not sustainable. That is not something that we can expect people to pay. Um, if they're transacting in cryptocurrency every single day, who wants to blow most of their, um, their, their gains. If you're trying to take profits in freaking gas fees, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So applications built on Hedera enjoy enterprise level scaling at low fees. And in recent times, users have been flocking to these dApps. Saucer Swap has been leading the movement recently with its decentralized trading protocol, attracting increased users over the past few weeks. Over 1.4 million in trading volume over the past day is ranked just outside the top 100 DEXs. Um, so yeah, so we can see here, you know, the price is, you know, sitting there. It is, uh, let's go have a look at the four hour. So yeah, we had that big drop, but I mean, we're still, we're still within, you know, these levels here that we were trading in, um, you know, the, the end of 2023. I mean, it's not really, uh, anything that I'm concerned about. Um, I am actually looking for an entry point into H bar. I really don't own any. Um, I just made a wallet, uh, just the past few days and, uh, I'm looking at, um, Oh, my cat's got his claw on my leg. Get out of here. Um, I'm looking at getting into HBAR um, in this level, actually, like a, the low eights. And uh, I am going to put a, a good 500 bucks in and then I'm going to reevaluate and uh, see kind of where, you know, if this, if the market starts to come back up a little bit, I'm going to wait and uh, put in my, my last 500 bucks. But uh, I'm going to invest a thousand dollars total. And, uh, yeah, so if it does dip down, then I'm not going to, you know, lose a whole bunch right off the bat. I will actually uh, dollar cost average and add a bit more to my position. 
Um, so that's that's my plan right now. I'm going to uh, most likely uh, complete my first purchase today. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye on the price and see exactly uh, where it's headed. And uh, I'm going to uh, definitely get that done today. Um, things are right around the level that I was kind of waiting for. Um, I was just kind of waiting for the new year to hit and, uh, you know, obviously pay payday and all that good stuff. Right. Uh, but that's what I got for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and following me on my cryptocurrency journey. Um, this is stuff that I do every day anyways. I'm always scouring and uh, reading articles and trying to gather as much knowledge as I can. And uh, I know somebody said uh, in the comments, you know, it's pretty easy to read an article. You know, it, it doesn't take much intelligence to do that. Well, you get on camera and try doing that and try, uh, you know, uh, getting videos up every single day for people. I do enjoy it. It's really, really fun. Um, this is something that I do every day anyway, so I just thought I would share my journey with you guys. I thank you so much for your support, and thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.